What is up guys, Eartha Logan here with just a quick little Discord 101 how-to kind of video for you. For anybody joining a server for the first time, chances are you probably clicked on your buddy's link and now you're looking at something like this. If you've never been on Discord before, you might be a little lost, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start up here in the upper left hand corner where you're going to find your direct messages. It's also going to pull you into your friends. You can click on and see um, who you've added, who you may be pending with, blocked people if you've blocked people along the way, beginning new DMs, checking app mentions to see who's talking about you, if they've added you or added a role that you may be involved in. Getting back out of this, I'm going to use my own personal server, our gaming server, Lunation Gaming, as the example for everything here. Uh, if you don't have a server that you just entered and you got into Discord, you probably got a blank slate. We'll talk about all that in a later video. Moving over to the right, over here, this next column up at the top, you're going to see the name of the server that you're in, and a little drop-down arrow. That little arrow is going to do a few things for you. Inviting people, you click on that, and it's going to generate a code for you. You'll be able to copy that code and paste it elsewhere. That is the invite for your friends to join the server that you're in. Getting back into this, there's some server settings that you can go through as far as um, muting things, uh, things that you want to be involved in or not. If you have admin rights or anything like that where you can create channels, create categories, you'll find that here. Notification settings as far as if you want to receive all the mentions, all messages, some, nothing, all those options are going to be there for you. Privacy settings, changing your nickname if you have the rights to do so in that server, and hiding muted channels. Hiding muted channels is as simple as right-clicking on a channel and muting it. So these are basically all of the things that you're going to be able to do all right here. Some servers use categories, some do not. I do. I like to stay organized. Categories are simply drop-down menus that are going to give you the list of channels within that category. Text channels are going to have a little hashtag next to them. Hashtags on Discord are a little bit different. They're not like their hashtags on Twitter. A hashtag for Discord is simply a link to that channel. So if I were to hashtag update somewhere in a text, it would create a link. And if people clicked on it, you would go right over to the updates channel. It would zip you right over here. Voice channels do not have a hashtag. You cannot link them. But they are there. And they are pretty cool. On PC, if you click on a voice channel, it's simply going to bring you into the connected spot down here where you can mute yourself, deafen those around you, other people talking, some settings as far as your volume controls, disconnecting, and being able to see your connection information. We're going to go ahead and disconnect from that before everybody pops in and wants to say hi. Um, Going down a little bit further in this column, you're going to find your your icon, your name, your uh, number down here. Again, some more voice stuff and user settings. User settings, you're going to be able to do a number of things in, like um, view your account, your privacy settings, and different things like that. Depending on whether you're just a user or the admin of that server, these settings are going to be different for you. Coming into a text server is pretty cool. Up top here, you're going to see the server name and the topic. Clicking on that topic, it's just going to bring up a little window. This is our updates channel. Right next to that is another way to mute the channel. Pinned messages. If somebody has something important to say, uh, they may pin a message up here. This is just the board to do so. If you wanted to jump right to that message wherever it came from, you can do that from there. Getting back out of that, we can toggle on and off our members list right here. Going over to the search bar is going to allow you to search for anything within the server that you're in. You cannot search for external things in Discord. It's all internal in the server that you're in. Your at mentions are going to be here. You can at everyone, at here, at a specific role, or at somebody themselves. That's just going to send them a notification or a little ping or you know let them know that you're trying to contact them. 
Within a text channel, you've got a few options down at the bottom. Basic text board. This little plus symbol here is to add documents or photos or something of that nature. You can also uh, add emojis and custom emojis if servers have them as well. Coming over to the members uh, line, the list, whatever you want to refer to it as, the different roles are listed here. Overseers, founders, mixer team, fortnights, things of that nature. And then from there, if you left click on a person, you'll be able to pull up their profile, little dropout window or whatever you want to call it. You can add notes to people. And then from there, now nobody else can see those notes. Those notes are just for you. You can also right click for more. We'll right click on somebody besides me. It'll give a little more information here. You can view their profile, mention them quickly. Instead of typing at so and so, you can mention them right here in your text. Message them directly for your DMs going back into that top left button there. Call them if you have calls enabled. Add those notes like I just did on myself. User volume is for voice channels. You can mute that person if you just don't like them. Change your nickname if you have the rights. Invite people to different servers. So I could invite Hutch to come over to the Dragon Ball Z server that I'm in. I don't know if he's much of an anime fan. Add or remove friends. If it doesn't say remove friend, then you're not friends with them yet. It should say add friend. Pretty self-explanatory. Block this person if they're troublesome. Don't worry about Hutch. He's harmless. Kick and ban people if you have admin rights and assign them roles. Roles are basically just groups that you can add. Another little thing you can do inside your text channels is add reactions to things. You can react to pictures, documents, um, even just any post in general that anyone makes. On PC you're gonna see this little um, smiley face with a plus sign that's the add reaction option. Um, <laughs> we have a emoji in my server which is basically just my face. I can add that and see now it's right here Logan reacted with that. Um, you can also, if you're the one that added it, simply click on it to erase it. And then if you are on one that has pictures already, we're going to head over here to maybe the meme station where I know we have some reactions to things. Um, see if I can find one with a something someone reacted to that wasn't me. right here here we go somebody posted this in I can add another to that right there I wish there were more a lot sooner that I could have found for you anyways that's basically reactions um, to anything that you've posted as well text wise or whatever um, right next to that little reaction option we'll find something that I said uh, this is amazing these three little dots boom right here I can edit or delete or pin that message from there um, I hope that covered everything for you guys that's basically gonna do it for kinda of the rundown of a lot of the things in discord if you're into a server that has things auto posted like our server does and you're just not really uh, not really into those things or you just don't want the notifications from them you can always go into that channel and go up to mute if you just don't want those notifications you can also right click on a certain channel it'll bring up another set of options for you as well as muting and things of that nature um, other than that guys that's really gonna do it I kinda just wanted to do this quick keep it short and sweet give people the basics I get a lot of people in my server that have never even been on discord before at all so that's kind of where this all came from. So I hope this was useful. Uh, if it helps you or if it helps your Discord server having it there, please feel free to post it somewhere to let people know how to kind of navigate around. This is the up-to-date current version of Discord as of January 2018. If this was great for you, hit that like button, subscribe for more. We're going to be back with a few more videos soon.